गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स क्लास सेवेंथ वेरियस सब टॉपिक्स आर देयर इन दिस चैप्टर इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक सेकेंड इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट इज मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन द प्लांट्स थर्ड अ इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस ऑफ प्लांट दैट इज फोटोसिंथिस फोर्थ अपार्ट फ्रॉम फोटोसिंथिस देर आर अदर मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स and the last and the most important part is how nutrients are replenished in the soil dear friends you all know that all living organisms such as plants and animals required food and on the basis of this we says that food is essential for all living organisms why plant animals need fruits or all living organisms need need fruits there are certain point first in order to obtain energy okay they also need food to obtain material for growth because energy is also important part and growth is also important parts they also required food to repair their damaged body parts and the most important thing to carry out different life processes such as respiration digestion excretion control and coordination circulation etc now we know that plants are capable of making their own food but animals and humans can't make their own food and what are the important components which are required by our body to obtain energy or to repair our body cells for the life processes and for the various other things okay these are known as the components of food and these are also considered to be the nutrients so we have different nutrients okay and we have to get different nutrients by the various source these are carbohydrates very important nutrient protein okay fats vitamins and minerals this we have detail we had studied in detail about these nutrients in class 6 in second chapter that is components of food carbohydrate provides us energy it is required for growth also for repair fat is for different types of stored food or energy okay vitamins and minerals keeps us safe from different diseases now this process of utilization of food by a living organism to obtain energy is called as nutrition okay by a living organisms 
ओके टू ऑप्टेन्ड एनर्जी इज कॉल्ड एज न्यूट्रिशन नाउ देर आर मेनी मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स ओके टू मोड्स आर देयर ऑटोट्रॉफिक एंड हाइड्रोट्रॉफिक ऑटोट्रॉफिक मीन्स ऑटो सेल्फ and that is why which can prepare their own food all green plants are autotrophic in nature they can prepare their own food heterotrophics they obtain food from other organisms okay and these since they these organisms depend on other organisms for their food they are also called as consumers because they consumes okay food from the other animals okay now when we talk about autotrophs green plants are there they can prepare their own food okay with the help of chlorophyll and all green plants are autotrophs okay now chlorophyll is there this chlorophyll helps in trapping sunlight and help in maintaining or making up of the food and the whole process is known as photosynthesis okay now photosynthesis a very important process we have discussed that plants are autotrophic in nature so they are considered to be a producers that is plants animals are consumers because they consumes on producer so they are animals our humans are there okay now the process photosynthesis is there and that is why plant comes under the autotrophs due to photosynthesis it is the process in which food is being made by plants from simple substances like carbon dioxide water in the presence of sunlight we'll discuss in detail about photosynthesis okay in the next class till the time you try to find out that what are the different heterotrophic modes of nutrition in case of plants that is the task for tomorrow to find it out Thank you.